Okay, here's another live sample how to tag a pellet. On this pellet is potatoes. So on the custom software, we're gonna select the type of pellet, the content of the pellet, and also the picker, the truck driver, and the forklift operator. And this is specifically for a certain shop. You can choose it from the menu. There's your label printing. Information on the side. And the face on the top. Now all the forklift operator is going to do now is just drive past the camera. The tagging process is very fast. It doesn't take up any time. The light indicates it's a positive tag. If the light goes down. Okay, after selecting your outlet or your shop, you'll get to this menu. Now from the drop down, you can select your um, pallet. This is the fast food pallet, fridge full, dry full, equipment, etc. This can be set up on the main screen um, to everyone's need. The pallet type you will see is the field there. You can specify what type of pallet is brown, blue. And there's your truck driver, forklift driver, picker, invoice or reference number. And then you have a print button. After you press the print button, your label will print. And this line 10 will turn green. That's indication that it has been processed. All this information is saved in a database that can be used for analytic reports and it's very useful to compare it when the pallet is received by the other side. It will tell you exactly what time the pallet was received, what pallet number, what was on the pallet. All this information will tag back through the custom software to show you exactly where is your pallet and what time it's been tagged in on the other side, giving you full report function. Okay, this is our label layout. You've got two sections. At the bottom is the face. It goes on the top and the information goes on the side. All the information is on the side of the label that you select from your data sheet. This is the tag process by the distribution center few examples to tag out just to show you how simple it is to tag out just have to pause your camera and it will scan out you can always go back to the pallet number on your NVR as a playback pause it you have a full view of your content on that pallet if there's any issues or problems, you can always go back to video feed. And all this information is captured and stored in the database. Now here's a few examples for receiving. This can be anywhere, any state. As long as that NVR is on the internet, we can pull footage, we can access the export analytic face attendance and we need that excel file so that we can import it to our main program for the receiving times this is the tag receiving process very simple just drive through no humans just scanning in this is a very tight space site where they tag as well so it can be customized for any type of receiving situation and all that information is also captured and you can go back to video feed to make sure the content is the same as the distribution center's content. I've also incorporated a pallet return app where you can, from the program, the sent pallets will be calculated automatically as you do your labeling, your blue, brown, red crates, in wool or red crates, in uh, this case we work with crates and you can also receive it back in using an app 
that's very user friendly and you can send reports to your outlets that uh, can tell you how much pallets they still owe you and you have pallet control that's also integrated into this program